In this video, we're going to look at how to differentiate rational expressions. So basically, in other words, we're going to be differentiating fractions today. If you're interested in learning how to use the quotient rule, we're actually not going to be doing that in this video. We are doing a workaround of some sort. So let's say, for example, I'll make it an easy one for now. Let's say you're differentiating 2 over x to the third. Well, so this is a rational expression because it's a fraction. Um, in order to change this to something that's not rational, we could take this x to the third power and bring it up to join the two. That would change the exponent from a positive exponent to a negative exponent. So this is essentially the same as 2x to the negative third. So remember, you'll remember this rule probably from algebra. I'll rewrite this so it's clearer. So you may remember this rule from algebra 2 that when you move an exponent from a denominator up to the numerator, the sign of the exponent changes. The same is true vice versa. If you move uh, ex a number with an exponent from the numerator down, the sign also changes. So that's a key thing to remember when using this little technique. So now that we know that y is equal to 2x to the third, the negative third, sorry, we haven't differentiated anything yet, but we now know how to according to the two steps that we've previously learned. So the derivative, or dy over dx, will be equal to the negative 6, is our new coefficient. Just reminding you, we got that by multiplying our exponent here by our coefficient. We got a new exponent, x to the, and remember we have to subtract 1 from the exponent, so to the negative 4. Be very careful. We need to remember that when you subtract from a negative number, it gets more negative. So negative 3 minus 1 is negative 4. So that's our new exponent. So now we're almost done. But our minds don't do well with negative exponents. So I don't want to leave a negative exponent in my answer. I would like to change it back to a positive exponent. How would we go about changing a negative exponent to a positive exponent? Well, if you're thinking what I think you're thinking, you probably said to yourself that we need to move it back down because moving a number with an exponent from the numerator to the denominator will change the sign, as we just spoke about, which means that our derivative dy over dx is negative 6 over x to the fourth. And that's how you differentiate a fraction. But I want us to do one that's slightly harder, more terms, and see how that goes. Okay, so in this example, we're looking at quite a bit more, but everything is pretty much the same. So I'm going to write down the steps this time since I want us to be able to remember exactly what we're doing. So in a question like this, I would say our first step is to break the fact fraction apart. So break it up. I'll just say break it up. Which means everything in this particular example is actually over or x squared. So oops, we're not differentiating anything yet. So let me get rid of that. So or y is equal to 9 x to the fourth over x squared, because everything is over x squared as we can see, or next part says plus 2x to the third over x squared minus x, you guessed it, over x squared minus 3 over x squared. So everything is over x squared. Now you may remember from algebra 2 also another rule of exponents that when you're dividing um, two things with the same base with different exponents or the same exponent, you subtract the exponents. So when you're dividing, just subtract your exponents. 
So we haven't differentiated anything yet. We're just simplifying it. So we have 9x. When we subtract our 4 minus 2, we get 2. So we're simplifying by subtracting our exponents. 2x to the 1, which we don't have to write the 1, it's assumed, minus, we have a 1 here that we didn't have written, so 1 minus 2, so we have here x to the minus 1, minus, and we may remember our rule from just before, the question we did before, we can bring that up, and we get 3 x to the negative 2 because the sign changes again when you move something from the denominator up to the numerator. So now we are ready to differentiate this and we get that dy over dx is equal to 18 multiplying our exponent and coefficient x to the 1 plus 2 remember that that x just drops off because it's 2x right now differentiated we get 2 plus 1x to the negative 2. We subtracted 1 from that exponent, and we got negative 2, plus 3x to the negative 3. Again, we subtracted 1 from that exponent to get negative 3. So we're not quite done yet because we have a couple negative exponents and we don't like the way that looks. Our minds don't wrap around it very well. So let's just take care of those. Everything else is good, so we'll write everything else down exactly as it is. It's already differentiated. But all we have to do at this point to make that positive and to make that positive is bring the x down. But there's no number here. What does that mean? Well, as you already know, it means there's actually a 1 there. We just can't see it. So when we bring our x to the negative 2 down, we get 1 over x squared plus 3 over x to the third. And that's how you can differentiate fractions without, for now, having to worry about the quotient rule.